Hi, this is Julie with Limitless Van, and I'm here today with Bugsy. Bugsy is built on a Mercedes-Benz 170 Sprinter, and it is a beautiful custom conversion. We can't wait to show you the inside, but first, we're gonna start with our exterior accessories. Here in the front, we have a CA-tuned off-road bumper and Baja Designs lights, along with the worn winch. Up front, you'll see that we have a Limitless Van Safari Rack. This is the first time we've built our Safari Rack for Mercedes, and we absolutely love the way it turned out, and it has the Baja Designs lights up top as well. Moving on to the suspension, this van has a Van Compass 4.3 suspension system. It's a two inch lift and then it has front and rear fast adjust shocks along with sumo springs and an added leaf pack. I'll go ahead and show you the back. Here in the back, we have an Owl Van storage box along with the Owl Van's rear tire carrier and then the one up bike rack that can store two bikes on it. And then moving our way up the vehicle, this roof rack also features a pull-up bar, which is a really fun way to exercise wherever you are. I'll go ahead and show you inside. The garage is where we store everything you need for living life off the grid. In this wheel well cabinet, we've got a 30 gallon water tank. There's also a 21 gallon gray water tank that has an electronic dump valve for super easily disposing of the water. This is our electronic battery cabinet. It features 10 kilowatt hours of Victron batteries. It's also paired with 200 watts of Zamp Obsidian solar panels and then a nation's alternator with wake speed 500 for super fast charging. It features a rear pullout tray, onboard air, and then this really nice Roloff magnetic bug screen. It has multiple configurations, so you can have this down or up. It's a really nice way to hang out in your bed at night, get some cool air without letting the bugs in. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the inside. Working our way towards the inside of the vehicle, we have one more onboard air location, along with this handy dandy flip down workstation. This here pops out, and then you can pop in an isobutane cook stove for cooking outside, along with an outlet for plugging in whatever you need to charge. If you've seen some of our other vans before, you've probably noticed something different about this build. This is our first build that's done a two-person dinette the Lagoon table has a pop-out tray that you flip over, and it's a really nice cup holder. We also have an alternative Lagoon mount right over here down at the base of the van, so you can store drinks, etc., while you're cooking and working outside the vehicle. In all of our builds, we call this section right behind the driver's seat flex space, and that's because you can use this space and make it suited to your needs. So we offer a two-passenger seat bed that also swivels so you still are able to walk through the vehicle, a two-person upholstered bench, or for the Mercedes Sprinter 170 only, this nice two-person dinette. Moving over here, we have a single induction cooktop, an isotherm 130 refrigerator. This is the refrigerator we use in most of our builds as it's a really functional use of space, a Rivati sink with a custom cutting board, and then one of the coolest features in this build is this pull-out pantry. This is a modular pantry, so we have removable panels for storing things of various heights. This galley also has other custom storage solutions, such as a place for your beverage of choice. We got tumblers here, wine glasses built in here for safe stowage while driving. There's a very deep, kind of hidden storage compartment right here with shelving, along with drawers and cabinets, and they're all soft clothes, which is really a nice feature to have. Moving our way over here, this is a 24 by 30 shower and we have a Lavio dry flush inside. We really love the Lavio dry flush toilet. We also have an alternative storing location for this toilet right under the dinette seat, which is on glides. This van and the water is heated with a Van Life Tech hydronic heated floor system, which feels really good when you wake up in your van on a cold morning. Moving back towards the bed, we have a partition that separates the inside living space of this van with the garage and it has an easy pass through. There's also a built in step for getting in and out of bed right here. And the neatest thing about this step is that there's hidden storage within the steps themselves, along with bedside storage in the overhead cabinets. And just like all of the overhead cabinets in our builds, the lights go on and off automatically as you open and close them. Above the bed, we have an Arctic Turn rooftop hatch. This is awesome. It's automatic, it's um, electronic remote system. It actually has a blackout shade, so you can sleep totally peacefully or have it open, view the stars, and it's a really fun system to have in your van. 
This bed sleeps east, west with 80 inches of sleep space due to the flare space flares. And then the coolest feature of this bed is that it is a convertible lounge bed. So what that means is this front section flips up for lounging in bed and being able to look outside the back doors of the van. And then that back section flips up for lounging in bed and looking out towards the front. A couple other really neat features in this van are the epic off-grid Wi-Fi package. And then of course the safety features that we put in all of our builds like the Nest Protect and the fire extinguisher. And then the awesome control panel that controls all of those systems. We like to use the Garmin Overlander controller. It's magnetically mounted, so it easily comes on and off and it has multiple mounting locations within the van. And then this Victron monitor keeps an eye on all your battery levels and makes sure that all your systems are operating efficiently. If you like this van build, go ahead and follow us. You'll see more van builds coming up soon. And go ahead and comment, tell us what you like best about this van build.